Hello mga ka-JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to express perfect square trinomial as a square of a binomial. Solve quadratic equations by completing the square. To be updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Just press that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. If you find this video helpful, kindly press that like button. If you have questions about the lesson, you can post your questions on the comment box below. Let's begin! Let's define first what is square of a binomial. The square of a binomial is a binomial expression that is raised to 2. Next, define naman natin ang perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial is an expression obtained from the square of a binomial where the first and last terms are squared and the middle term is twice their product. Example, square of binomial quantity x plus y square. So, meron tayo ditong binomial na merong exponent na 2. As a review, pag sinabi nating binomial, ito ay polynomial na merong dalawang terms. Nahahati ito ng plus o kaya naman ay minus sign. Sa example natin, nahati siya ng plus sign. Ang dalawang terms natin dito ay x tsaka y. Pwede natin i-rewrite ito as the product of x plus y and x plus y. Perform natin ang FOIL method. x times x is x squared. x times y is xy. y times x is xy. And y times y is y squared. Combine similar terms xy and xy, we get 2xy. So we have x square plus 2xy plus y square. Ang tawag natin sa expression na ito ay perfect square trinomial. Ito ang product na nakukuha natin kapag nag-square tayo ng isang binomial. Another example is quantity x minus y square. I-rewrite natin ito as the product of x minus y and x minus y. Perform natin ang FOIL method. x times x is x square. x times negative y is negative xy. Negative y times x is negative xy. And negative y times negative y is y square. Combine similar terms, negative xy and negative xy, we get negative 2xy. So we have x square minus 2xy plus y square. Now, let's try express perfect square trinomial as a square of a binomial. So, baligtad naman ang gagawin natin ngayon. From perfect square trinomial, gagawin or if a factor natin ito as a square of a binomial. So, may technique or pattern tayo dito na susundin para mas mapadali ang pagpa-factor. Given x square minus 4x plus 4, i-factor natin siya as square of a binomial. Para makuha ang unang term ng binomial factor, i-square root lang natin ang quadratic term. Square of x square is x. Para makuha naman ang second term ng binomial factor, i-square root natin ang constant term. Square of 4 is 2. Then, para makuha kung anong sign ang ilalagay natin sa binomial factor, gagayahin lang natin ang sign ng linear term. In this example, negative ang sign kaya negative or minus sign ang ilalagay natin sa binomial factor. So we have quantity x minus 2 square. Next, Express naman natin ang 9x square plus 24x plus 16 
as square of a binomial. Para makuha ang unang term ng binomial factor, square root lang natin ang quadratic term. Square root of 9x square is 3x. Para makuha naman ang second term ng binomial factor, square root natin ang constant term. Square root of 16 is 4. Then, para makuha kung anong sign ang ilalagay natin sa binomial factor, gagayahin lang natin ang sign ng linear term. In this example, positive ang sign kaya positive or plus sign ang ilalagay natin sa binomial factor. So we have quantity 3x plus 4 raised to 2. Extracting square roots and factoring are usually used to solve quadratic equations of the form ax square minus c equals 0. If the factors of the expression of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 are determined, then it is more convenient to use factoring to solve it. Another method of solving quadratic equations is by completing the square. This method involves transforming the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 into form quantity x minus h square equals k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. Merong mga quadratic equation na nasa form na ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 ang hindi natin kayang i-factor. So magandang method itong completing the square sa pagsosolve ng ganoong klaseng quadratic equation. To solve the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 by completing the square, the following steps can be followed. Step 1. Divide both sides of the equation by a, then simplify. Step 2. Write the equation such that the terms with variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. Step 3. Add the square of one half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Step 4. Express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Step 5. Solve the resulting equation by extracting the square root. And step 6. Solve the resulting linear equations. Example number 1. Find the solutions of 3x square minus 36x plus 42 equals 0 by completing the square. Step 1. Divide both sides of the equation by a, then simplify. Ang value ng a natin dito ay 3. Given the equation, divide natin both sides of the equation ng 3. We get x square minus 12x plus 14 equals 0. Step 2. Write the equation such that the terms with variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. Given the equation, transpose natin ang 14 sa right side. We get x square minus 12x equals negative 14. In this equation, nasa left side na lahat ng may variable at nasa right side naman ang constant. Step 3. Add the square of one half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Given the equation, Kunin natin ang coefficient ng linear term na negative 12. Divide natin ito ng 2. We get negative 6. Tandaan na laging 2 ang i-divide natin. After natin mag-divide ng 2, i-square naman natin ang nakuha natin quotient na negative 6. Negative 6 square is 36. Ang nakuha natin 36 ngayon ay i-add natin both sides sa equation. Simplify, we have 
x square minus 12x plus 36 equals 22. Sa process na ginawa natin, ang expression na nasa left side ay isa ng perfect square trinomial. Step 4. Express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Given the equation, square root the quadratic and the constant term and follow the sign of the coefficient of the linear term. We get quantity x minus 6 raised to 2 equals 22. Step 5. Solve the resulting equation by extracting the square root. Given the equation, square root natin both sides at maglagay ng plus at minus sign sa right side kagaya ng ginagawa nating process sa extracting square roots. Makakansal ang square sa left side at mananatili naman sa radical ang 22 dahil hindi ito perfect square at wala itong factors na magbibigay ng perfect square. So, we have the equation x minus 6 equals positive negative square root of 22. Step 6. Solve the resulting linear equations. Given the equation, separate natin ang positive sa negative. Unahin natin ang x minus 6 equals square root of 22. Transpose negative 6 sa right side ng equation. We get x equals square root of 22 plus 6. Next, x minus 6 equals negative square root of 22. Transpose negative 6 sa right side ng equation. We get x equals negative square root of 22 plus 6. So, x equals square root of 22 plus 6 and x equals negative square root of 22 plus 6 will be our solutions or roots. Example number 2. Find the solutions of x squared minus 6x minus 41 equals 0 by completing the square. Step 1. Divide both sides of the equation by a, then simplify. Since ang value ng a natin dito ay 1, i-rewrite lang natin ang equation. Kasi any number divided by 1 is equal to itself. Step 2. Write the equation such that the terms with variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. Given the equation, transpose negative 41 to the right side of the equation. We get x squared minus 6x equals 41. Step 3. Add the square of one half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Given the equation, kunin natin ang coefficient ng linear term na negative 6. Divide natin ito ng 2. We get negative 3. Square naman natin ang nakuha nating quotient na negative 3. Negative 3 square is 9. Ang nakuha nating 9 ay i-add natin both sides sa equation. Simplify, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 50. Sa process na ginawa natin, ang expression na nasa left side ay isa ng perfect square trinomial. Step 4, express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Given the equation, square root the quadratic and the constant term and follow the sign of the coefficient of the linear term, we get quantity x minus 3 square equals 50. Step 5. Solve the resulting equation by extracting the square root. Given the equation, square root natin both sides at maglagay ng plus at minus sign sa right side. Makakancel ang square sa left side. Since hindi perfect square ang 50, hindi natin ito pwedeng ilabas sa radical. Ang gagawin natin para masimplify ay hahanap tayo ng mga factors ng 50 na magbibigay ng perfect square number. 
Ang mga factors na ito ay 2 and 25. Simplify, pwede natin ilabas ang 25 sa radical since perfect square ito. At mananatili naman sa loob ng radical ang 2 dahil hindi ito perfect square. The square root of 25 is 5. So we get x minus 3 equals positive negative 5 squared of 2. Step 6. Solve the resulting linear equations. Given ang equation, iseparate natin ang positive sa negative. Unahin natin ang x minus 3 equals 5 squared of 2. Transpose negative 3 to the right side of the equation, we get x equals 5 squared of 2 plus 3. Next, x minus 3 equals negative 5 squared of 2. Transpose negative 3 to the right side of the equation, we get x equals negative 5 squared of 2 plus 3. So, ang x equals 5 squared of 2 plus 3 at x equals negative 5 squared of 2 plus 3 ang ating solutions or roots. For your activity, find the solutions of the following quadratic equations by completing the square. Number 1, x squared plus 10x equals 3. Number 2, 4x squared plus 8x equals negative 16. Pwede nyong i-comment sa comment box ang inyong mga sagot. That's all for now. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video lesson na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe para updated kayo lagi sa mga i-upload kong mga video lessons. Paalam!